When it comes to academic success, many parents and students often consider the option of hiring a tutor. This decision can be especially relevant for middle and high school students who face significant academic pressure and are preparing for college. But is tutoring really worth the investment? Let's explore the benefits and drawbacks of tutoring for middle and high school students. Before we jump into it, make sure to like, follow, and comment if you enjoyed. And make sure to check out our other Tuning Tube video here where we talk about signs that you should be changing schools. One of the primary benefits of tutoring is personalized attention. With a tutor, students can receive one-to-one -one attention that is tailored to their individual needs. This allows the tutor to identify areas of weakness and develop strategies for improvement. For example, a math tutor can work with a student to develop a deep understanding of algebraic concepts and problem solving strategies, which can help the student excel in the subject. This is especially helpful for students who find themselves lost in a large classroom setting. It's not a surprise that the larger the classroom, the easier it is for students to fall through the cracks. This isn't indicative of a student's academic level either. GT students are just as likely to fall through the cracks as any other student, which makes tutoring a great supplemental method to those unable to find alternative learning environment. Another benefit of tutoring is that it can provide additional academic support. Some students may struggle to keep up with the pace in their classes, which can lead to frustration and them falling behind. With a tutor, students can receive additional instruction and practice, which can help them catch up and stay on track. This can be especially relevant for students who are preparing for standardized testing like the SAT or ACT. Tutoring can work on the flip side as well, allowing students to get ahead of their classes and prepare themselves for deeper levels of concepts that will be approached in the later part of the course. Tutoring can also be beneficial for students who need help with study skills and organization. A tutor can work with a student to develop effective study habits such as note-taking, time management, and test-taking strategies. These skills can be useful not only in high school and middle school, but also in college and beyond. A lot of these executive functioning skills are learned behaviors early in a student's academic career, but many students didn't receive the proper help with the development of these skills. If you want to learn more about executive functioning, click the card above. However, tutoring is not without its drawbacks. One of the primary concerns is cost. Tutoring is a two-way street for students and tutors. Tutors can only go so far if the student doesn't put in the effort, and a bad tutor could seem like a waste of money and time for the student. This is why it's important to get to know the tutor and see if it's truly the right fit for your student. Another potential drawback is that the tutoring can become a crutch for some students. If a student becomes too reliant on a tutor, they may not develop Develop the skills and confidence they need to succeed on their own. This can be especially relevant when it comes to standardized tests where students need to be able to perform without help of a tutor. In conclusion, tutoring can be a valuable investment for middle and high school students. It provides personalized attention, academic support, and can help students develop study skills and organization. However, tutoring can be expensive, and it may not be worth the investment if the student does not take advantage of the tutoring or becomes too reliant on it. Ultimately, Ultimately, the decision to hire a tutor should be based on the individual needs and circumstances of each student and family. If you're interested in tutors who specialize in one-to-one -one instruction, check out our website, tinnytutors.com, where our tutors are the exact same teachers as our in-person one-to-one school. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in to today's episode of TinnyTube. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to give us a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Be sure to also hit that bell icon to be notified anytime we go live with a new video.